scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you. But it's truly an honor um, for me and then for all of us to have this father and this veteran, one who has held the scepter in this nation to come and speak and prophesy. Listen, there are some of you, this is why God brought you here. There is a grace for governance and it does not just happen. So um, as the protocol leads him to just come and just speak a blessing, we are trusting God that God will do the new here. Are we together? The honor of being a one-time Senate president is an honor that you should not take for granted. Praise the Lord. We are using him as a point of contact to speak to the territory and to establish the fact that this territory, this region, this move will always remain a move of influence, not just spiritually speaking, but even to government. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome His Excellency. Is that the best you can do? David over Nigeria. Raise your David over Nigeria. Raise your David over the 36 states. 
raise your David over the local government. Locate your David amongst your children. Let your grace locate them. Let your grace strengthen them. Father, visions come from you. No man can of his own do it. Identify your David and vision him to lead your people out of this situation. Take glory, Lord. Take honor. Be magnified, Lord. For we pray in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Please, may I invite Dr. Stanley? Yes, sir. God bless you. Please honor him. He's coming to speak over business people and those who are in business of all sorts and truly he's a man that God has helped and we honor you for what you represent. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Apostle, for thank this you. great privilege. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. Apostle, my father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. Paul in Nature says, a man cannot give what he does not have. He says it takes a man that has been there to take you there. And by the mercies of God, I stand here as one that has been blessed by God. And I decree the same anointing that brought me from the backside and positioned me on the front side. I decree that same anointing be replicated in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that same direction that I got that directed me to the right path of destiny. I decree that young men and women who are trusting God for direction, I ask so Lord that you receive direction in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare all those that have what to do, I decree the same hand that rested upon our business, that made us, brought us from the backside and brought us to the front side. That same hand is resting upon the work of your hand in the name of Jesus. I eliminate confusion in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give it a praise, we give it a glory. We give it a honor, we give it the adoration. Be thou glorified. Be thou magnified. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, sir. I'd like us to please, very quickly, um, I just thought to do this. Um, I'm sure it may be a surprise for honorable Please, I may request you to come. He is the first black man to be an honorable member in Poland. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, we, met, we met on a flight and honestly, he's truly a humble man to go to another land he will represent the grace for influence even in a strange land. And I want him to come and just speak that decree. Is that all right? Yes. Doctor, sir, God bless you. Let's honor him. Please pay attention to these graces as you receive them. Holy are you, Lord God Almighty, what is the land, what is the land, you are
Father, I thank you. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Thank you for taking me as a missionary to Poland and raising me in that nation. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy over these ones that are here that you shall shoot them as arrows into the nations. Father, you told us in years past that you are going to throw Nigerians, shoot Nigerians into the nations. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare that this shall come to pass. In Jesus' name, grace unto you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Very quickly, please, let me invite our father, Professor J.S. Murray. Let's honor him. Celebrate him as he comes. As he releases that anointing, please open up your heart, all of you connected to the academia, and receive by the Spirit. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I say, Praise the Lord. You know, there's knowledge that comes from the head. There's knowledge that comes from the heart. I wish I knew the one that comes from the heart earlier. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I say, I wish I knew the one that comes from the heart either. Praise the Lord. He said, I have to say this so that we become mindful of what Apostle is releasing over us. Praise the Lord. You see, we are operating in an altar. You know, I see, you see, Apostle as a man who has sacrificed himself on the altar of God, consumed by a lot, and God is sending him as a light to drive out darkness from the universe. <laughs> and it's planting what that belongs to heaven on earth. Praise the Lord. There is a knowledge I got to know late. You see, it comes from the heart. And when you are seated with people, you tell them what they bow to you. I hear me very well. You see, by this knowledge that the Lord revealed to me of recent, I release it over you in the name of Jesus. I decree that sign on cars, sign on aeroplane, will be replaced by the cross because the wisdom will come from the church. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. I, look, the, the knowledge that comes from the head now ceases to operate in you. Yeah. It will come from the heart. Yeah. It will be directed by the Lord. Yeah. The creator of the universe. Yeah. I decree that every theory on earth will come from the church. I decree that every innovation on earth will come from the church. I decree that every Nobel Prize on earth will be received by the man in the church. Your eyes will not see the physical. But your eye will come from heaven. You will rewrite things that men have written. In the name of Jesus. Go and rule the world. Go and show sign that our God is the creator of heaven and earth in the name of Jesus. No more failure in the church. You see, when your grace comes, other grace will be separated by a hundred in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, it, it just occurred to me to do this. Um, 
sadly we are not able to have her here um, but we had a moment and I was very humbled she prayed for me this morning um, our mother Mama Sarah Omako even though she's not here physically she wasn't able to make it um, but my biological mother is here but I have listen 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 hold on one of the blessings in my life is that I have so many mothers my life is surrounded by and with intercessors I don't know why they are largely women mothers for some of them is their covenant with God they pray for me day and night and one of these amazing mothers is in this place and truly she's a mother indeed she's one of the women who um, she has watched the investment the grace of God upon my life and she has been a major pillar a major support and this for me is an opportunity to truly truly honor her ladies and gentlemen please let me call her to speak the blessing of a mother our mother mommy ojela day please let's celebrate as she comes protocol help her please is this the best you can do Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Lord, we just want to thank you. Most high God, we worship you. Our everlasting Father, first of all, we thank you for this gift in apostle that you have given to us. We thank you, most high God, that you chose him for this assignment. We thank you that you helped him to give himself to the Lord. Lord, we pray that you will keep him for us. Amen. We pray, most high, that your anointing upon him will be multiplied. Amen. Father, we pray, just as so many graces has been released upon us tonight, Lord God Almighty, I pray, especially tonight on every woman, on every mother, on every lady, that the type of women that we read about in the Bible that did exploits for God, such graces will be released upon us all in the name of Jesus. Oh, we will stand to do great and mighty things for the Lord. The passion and the zeal of God will be made manifest upon our lives. Oh, we will seek no other person in our life, first of all, to live for God and to show forth his power in the name of Jesus. I decree tonight that the love of God will consume us, that the love of God will descend powerfully upon our lives. Oh, that the robe of righteousness will be seen in our lives. Wherever we go, Lord, people will see Christ in us. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that the vision you've given us tonight, we will be carriers to every area we go in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we will not disappoint you. We will not fail you. We will not falter. We pray for all our men, the young men in our midst. They will be all that God expects them to be. They will be representative of God in their homes, in their schools, in their places of work, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the Almighty God will make us shine for his glory. In every family, in every area where we walk, everywhere we are found, the light of God will come and shine forth in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will be turned around for God in Jesus' name. Oh, our God is a turnaround God. We will go out from this place and turn this nation around in the name of Jesus. And the power of God will be made manifest. Father, we thank you. Ancient of this, we are done. We thank you for the privilege of being your children. 
It's such an honor. We worship you, Lord, and we say thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm a product of many anointings and the speakings of men are very powerful because God hides his anointing, his grace in men. I'd like you to please be patient, we're almost done, but I, I just feel that it's important to at least just make this decree. This is our first night. This is the inaugural service. There should be proofs that you came. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to tell you with all due diligence, we have honored the fathers and the veterans in the land. <clears throat> We're not rebels. Praise the Lord. We have secured their prayer, their blessings, because we are sincere people. We are visionary people. One of the prayers that Bishop Abioye prayed for me is what I want to start with tonight to pray for you. He said the grace that makes ease, that makes things happen easily. Please, you don't have to kneel. And I know he prayed from the depth of his heart. In the name that is above all names. That name Ebenezer. Let it speak over your life. When mommy Sarah laid hands and prayed. She made a statement. And when we were at the office. She said something to me. She said. There is a grace for ease that is on our ministry. Same thing. In the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, hardship is not a good thing. Oh. Don't, don't ever embrace it. it. It can interrupt many useful things in your life. I pray that this grace that came from the throne routed through the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease. I stretch my hands. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The grace that brings encounters to a man. Please be sensitive and pray now. You don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside. We don't have that time. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying. There is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit. I release that grace upon you now. I stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic and I declare, I speak to the two lift gates of your destiny. Be open now. 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 The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, Kadis Kobradishia, Kanabalakatosiata, and he overtook the chariots of Israel. I want to release a grace for speed. Just help those under the anointing. Father, by the grace of God, I declare. I don't know how it has been before now, but I declare speed. Take that grace now. Speed in your life. Speed in your destiny. Help them, please. Speed in your family. Overflows outside. Speed. Speed. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph. And they brought him out of his dungeon. I prophesy to the north, the south, the east, and the west. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned. I command them to appear now. Please help them. I command them to appear now.
because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity the bible says therefore god even thy god hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows i decree and declare the grace that distinguishes may that grace rest mightily upon you hallelujah i was preaching in Rogic and i please permit me to honor the woman of god pastor mrs bimbo Ekweme. god bless you we truly honor you thank you apostle goodheart couldn't make it he traveled but listen while i was preaching there at the conference i was studying and the spirit of god told me to pray for the grace upon the people the grace for visibility believe me people of god let me tell you being gifted is one thing but there is a grace that gives you visibility the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like dr stanley prophesied over you but it looks like the gate and the revelation came from acts chapter 12 that the bible says how that they bound peter and prayers were going on by the church and the bible says an angel came loose his chain brought him out of the first gate out of the second gate he says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city there is a gate that opens a man to the city in the name of jesus i decree and declare the gate that must be open for your influence for your gift for your product to find expression receive that grace now hallelujah the bible says certain men came to david in the cave of adulam even though they met him hiding they bound themselves with a covenant to help him that he must become king let me tell you this no matter how great you are your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you no matter how anointed you are the gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you the bible says god restored the captivity of job job 42 verse 10 and he says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money when saul met samuel he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you there is a real grace for favor esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians it shall come to pass that as you go you shall not go empty i decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life i declare may that favor rest upon you whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord 
The Bible says, and Jacob dug a well. And the Philistines came and covered it. He dug another well, they covered it. He dug the third one and they left him. He called it Rehoboth. He said, God has given me my own space. There is a grace for territory. Where the, your portion in a land is kept and left for you. In the name of Jesus, wherever your portion is in this land, I stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and I declare that you locate that which is yours. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, we are wrapping up. I want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the Holy Spirit to him. Listen, we are made by our fellowship with him. This one, there is a strong grace that will come on you. I want you to believe it. There is a grace, an embracing to wait, to stay until you are furnished, until you are made. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. From the front to the back, the left to the right, everyone who must carry this grace. Father, call people, call people into dimensions of intimacy. Call people, receive that grace. Intimacy with the Holy Spirit. It's a fire that is resting on you. Receive that grace. Help them please. Receive that grace. The overflows outside. Receive that grace. You will never be the same. I release you with a hunger for spiritual things. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray the last prayer point for tonight. There is the spirit of revelation. Access. It's a fellowship into the mystery. You are called. It's not just something you study. You are called into the fellowship of this mystery. And as much as the Lord has shown us mercy and helped us, I stretch my hands. There are people who must drink of that grace. I stretch my hands. Access to depths, revelations of the Spirit. Carry that grace now. Carry that grace in the name of Jesus. Carry that grace in the name of Jesus. Carry that grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyone here appointed to death, that death is following you, following your family members. I stand by the God of heaven. We declare cancelled now. Cancelled now. Cancelled now. Cancelled now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Just help those under the anointing. If you are sick in your body, just lay your hands there right now. We have to pray. You are sick in your body. I apologize, we may not have a time for we this is this is something that is ongoing, so we have to respect time. But I just want to speak over. We cannot end the meeting without speaking over the sick. Help them, please help them. Every spirit, hear me, my goodness, I'm seeing chains. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Chains. In the name of Jesus, anyone who is bound by any demonic force, hear the word of the Lord. I stand as one sent and I decree and declare. My God, I'm seeing fire rest on people. I command those devils, be gone now. Be gone now. Every strange spirit that is not of the Christ, I release you from their influence now in the name of Jesus be healed now blood conditions be healed now
own conditions be healed now all kinds of abnormalities be healed now eye conditions be healed now for your loved ones who probably have contracted the COVID and you're trusting God for their healings I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead healing for them now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus everything that did not work hitherto over your life and your destiny by the word of the Lord I declare return and watch it work now In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Now, please, just keep standing. I, to request, you will find out that there is a form. There is a form that has been given. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny.